opened up free and it revealed yes there is no swap there ah that's probably why we ran out of memory so it's active now and I went into the fstab file just to add it to the boot you know so when the system comes up it uh, is already mounting this file and uh, th this is how I've got it set up for this machine and it's a little bit different because what the K loader tells you and what it shows up as in the system uh, is a little bit different so I'm still trying to wrap my head around it because I've really initially or ideally I, I want to be able to run uh, Deb off the internal drive so I've actually got a SD reader and a 4, 40 pin to 44 pin adapter and I'm going to run this either a CF card or an SD card or something like that because I'm sick of drives blowing up and blowing fuses and, and all this sort of carry on so back on top here you can see it's all working uh, we should be able to run apt-get now to um, try and update again Now this is all basic stuff in Linux. Make sure you have a swap partition running for an old computer. I mean this thing's only got 32 megs of RAM. So I mean, and it's pretty much maxed out running this system compared to uh, Black Rhino Linux, which still had a fair bit left over and it managed it really well, but D Debian definitely sucks it all up. Uh, so it's going to be interesting when we finally get like another user interface running on here. Um, if I could, I would love to change out the um, system chips, the memory chips, which are an RD RAM. Um, and apparently some of the early systems when they were developing the PlayStation 2 had 64 megabytes of RAM so I'd love to know what the chips are um, to swap them out I'd love to have at least 64 like you could do so much more with this machine uh, and you know 300 megahertz with 64 megabytes it's, it's not great but I mean you could run XP on 64 megabytes you know so in the end I changed the date and the apt conf um, security settings to allow unauthenticated upgrades and installation and, and all that sort of stuff. I did actually film this but I, I lost the footage and I couldn't be bothered going through the pain of doing the research to find this and figure it all out. It was just a bit of a mess. When you, when you don't have to deal with this stuff in modern day Linux, you know, it's a bit of a mess. So yeah, so we go back here and everything looks fine there. 1664K, so there's 1.6 megabytes of uh, available physical memory there and I mean we're using uh, it was like two or three megabytes of um, swap there so we'll download and, and install mplayer and um, I'll see if we can play a video I doubt it I can imagine it's being really really choppy but I think I've got some 3gp um, videos on my server so I might be able to stream it through mplayer here and, and we can see what the, um, the playback quality is like So it's all installed, wicked. M player for the MIPS CPU installed. Sweet, M player runs fine. Uh, we're sort of running out of time here, so in the next video we'll do some performance stuff and uh, try and do some more updates um, now that we've got that all fixed up. But here is the battery powered PlayStation 2. Now, it's not as compact as just a uh, you know normal power supply, obviously, but um, this is where our 12 volt comes out of and goes into the main board where these wires are going into at the moment. So ideally, I'm going to make it like a little laptop-sized um, power pack to take its place, and then uh, it'll be solar charged. So I can have this running on um, solar, which only requires about 50 watts. Um, 
probably less without having to convert all the AC and da 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 da. Probably less without a hard drive, probably less without um, the CD drive in it. Essentially, I don't really need the disk drive, so. Hmm. We'll play around with that concept and the other peripherals that I promised to uh, talk about maybe in the next video, but there's a lot of deviant stuff we've got to do. So, thank you for watching this episode. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, yeah. I'll see you on the next one. The last part was is, uh, the fuse blew because uh, when I was making this battery pack, I uh, might have shorted it.